things first training is going to be very intense it's going to be very long and you're there to complete a goal you're there to get your wings you've gotten this far you've gotten your CGL so you definitely want to focus training is going to be long days early morning some of the hours for us were 10 to 14 day hours I remember one night not leaving the training center for my airline until it was like 2 30 a.m so definitely you want to focus so thing number two that you need to be prepared for when you go to training is the way you pack first of all most likely you're going to be in another hotel room with a partner like with another trainee so be considerate i do not suggest you bring 50 pieces of luggage and all of these things and microwaves and stoves and all of these things there's so many um, tools available in the hotel but I would pack light just so that you're not carrying all that stuff back home that you're not going to use I would overpack on your uniform pieces like maybe multiple pairs of jeans multiple pairs of black pants if that's one of your requirements multiple um, white shirts if that's one of your requirements but overpack on those things because believe me you're not going to have time to go out and have fun so all of these cute outfits and all of these outing things that you think you're gonna need you're not gonna need all of those I would bring one or two outing outfits believe me you're going to be focused this is going to be your hustle this is going to be like you are going to be grinding it out there's not going to be much fun time you're going to be creating amazing memories and don't miss out on the memories but believe me everyone is going to be thugging it out you're going to have on your pants your uniform outfit your training uniform outfit and that's it so there's really no need to overpack be more considerate pack your hygiene items pack your cleaning supplies that you're going to clean your hotel room with um, your hygiene items that you're taking care of yourself with um, and that's it just be mindful of that believe me I saw so many people bringing tons of luggage in and toting tons of luggage luggage out and they never used a third of those things so just be mindful of that money save before you come to your flight attendant training whether it be regional or mainline most of the airlines do not pay for training i was fortunate that my airline my mainline airline paid a minimum wage they paid like seven dollars i have not i've never made seven dollars in my life <laughs> and i'm 41 i've never made seven dollars in my life but um they paid us like seven dollars and some change for training no overtime no any of that just straight flat seven hundred seven dollars and some change so before you come to training just keep in mind that you're going to be gone for close to two months my training happened to be six weeks that's a long time for many people to go without making a decent salary so before you go to training definitely save your money be prepared because they do not pay most of them do not pay if they do pay it's minimum wage it's very little and you're going to be away from six weeks so make sure that you are financially prepared because you don't want to leave training and be in a financial bind so that's very very important when you get to training do not play with these people don't play with your instructors don't play with your coordinators do not play with them come and be on your a game because i you know i witnessed so many 
of my flight attendant trainee co-partners getting in trouble for not being on time or not being in uniform compliance and getting these write-ups in training that will follow you for a year six months to a year when you actually get on the line so who wants to get on the line and have a write-up from training because you came back from lunch late it just doesn't make any sense congratulations if you made it this far you know how difficult it is you know the process that it has taken to get to training come on your a game don't play with them don't play with yourself don't play with your own time a lot of you will be sacrificing a lot of quality time away from your family a lot of you will be quitting jobs um, to come to training and just a FYI training is not a guarantee you have the job that's why they say it's a CJO it's a conditional job offer so for any condition they can send you home so that means everything that you have inside of yourself everything in your being you need to bring your a game and bring it to that training so that you can be successful and get your wings so don't let little things like being late for lunch being out of compliance for uniforms, uh, being disrespectful to instructors, being disrespectful to people in your hotel because they all work together. The staff at the hotel, the bus drivers, the um, cafeteria workers, they all work together. Everyone has input on why you should get that wing at your graduation. So definitely be on your A-game and don't get written up for little things like that because it's just not worth it. Okay, so this is a tip that for me, I kind of thought about this afterwards. Um, and, it, and let's go back a little bit. So this is even before you go to training, like you have not even been offered a date yet. So the airline industry is based on seniority. So the sooner you go to training, the higher your seniority will be. I was offered two dates. I was offered the first week of a month and the second week of a month. And I ended up choosing the second week because I felt like I just needed a break. I just needed some time to get my mind together. And that one week cost me about 200 people um, in seniority. So there's like 200 people from 2023 from the class that started just now that is over me and it's a big deal when you get out here on the line and I'm like wow I didn't think about the seniority so just a heads up if that's important to you um, take the earliest class date that you possibly can so that you can have a higher seniority because it definitely matters and it means something it's very valuable that seniority level is going to be valuable when you get on the line <laughs> When you get to training, make sure you are studying. Learn your study style fast. Like understand the way you like to learn. Understand your study habits. Get to know yourself and your your learning ability very quickly. Because some people like to study in groups. Some people don't. Some people like to study by themselves. Some people like to read the information. One thing that I can tell you is do your homework. Because the homework is basically going to prepare you in advance for the information you're gonna be talking about the next day. So it kind of puts you ahead and it gives you knowledge so that you're not lost and you're not asking you know, unnecessary questions. But learn your study habits. If you're not a group learning person, don't go in these groups because everyone is gonna have study groups. They're all over the training center. But if you don't learn well with the group, don't study in the group because believe me, everything is about getting those wings and you don't wanna be distracted. Anywhere there are a lot of people, there are also a lot of distractions, and that's just not what we came for. That's not what our goal is, so don't get distracted. Learn and um, study the way you feel confident in the way you actually can grasp the knowledge because that's going to be most important, and it's going to be more important than any friendship you think you're making in this six-week training. Training days are long. I mentioned earlier, they're like 10 to 14 days. So just as a little tip, make sure you bring a 12 hour plus deodorant and bring it to class with you. Put it inside your training bag because believe me, training is going to break you in ways that you didn't know you could be breaking. Like in ways that you didn't know you could be broken. It's gonna break you and it's gonna break you every day. But you don't wanna be the person that got broke 
and ended up smelling like onions so definitely that's just a little tip that I didn't hear people mention but it's very important so just bring some deodorant keep your hygiene together because you're going to be working in close quarters every day and you know we're all adults we're all grown people so just keep that in mind just in case you ever need it again congratulations if you made it this far so now if you're in training or you're considering going to training when you're thinking about your base it's very important that you choose your base based on what's going to be affordable what's going to be commutable what base has some trips that you like um and what base is close to home if you can get a base that's in your home city take it hands down take it unless you plan on moving to base because commuting is difficult no matter what they say but just take it i'm just letting you know now so in training you're going to meet a lot of phenomenal people i'm just going to encourage you to be kind be courteous be open-minded remember that everyone is from different backgrounds age groups and nationalities everyone is going to have different learning styles and i'm going to tell you right now everyone in your class is going to have their own turn when they are the person that is driving everyone crazy but it's important that you still get along with your class because those are the people who are really going to help you through my class was phenomenal um we supported each other we helped each other we held each other up even when it was your turn getting on someone's nerves we still supported each other and that's going to be very important because again airline industry is about seniority and no one is going to want to trade your trips because your seniority is going to be low so i have had a lot of success trading my trips moving my schedule around with the people from my class so be friendly be courteous you don't have to be besties but definitely stay out of the drama. Don't create the drama. Don't add to the drama. And just be kind and open-minded and understand that everyone has different learning styles. Just be patient. That's it. And that's going to get you very far. And if you follow those tips, I think that you will be very, very, very successful in training. And I can't wait to see you on the line, hopefully for the company that I work for. And I'm excited. Um, as at the time that I'm recording this video, I am just shy of a few months in. I have been able to take some trips for work. So I have some layovers that are my favorite as a new time flight attendant. And I'm currently working on that video. And I'm excited. So I think my next two videos will be flight attendant related. Um, just because this is one of my hobbies is something I always wanted to do and I definitely want to give you some background on it um, Being a flight attendant is one of my streams of income if you guys don't know I definitely believe in having seven streams of income and This is one of my streams and it's something that I enjoy and it gives me so many benefits So I'm excited for you if this is a journey that you're embarking on and congratulations and welcome if you have any questions feel free to leave them down below in the comment section and as soon as i can i'll get back and reply to all the comments thank you again if you haven't already like follow and subscribe i would love the support and see you next time bye